how excited are you about this opportunity to potentially carry a heavy workload on Sunday? Oh, I'm excited just to be back out there. Uh, last time I played was against the Jets, so for me, I'm just excited to be out there, period, after not, you know, playing for most of the season. So, just happy to be back. Has this been a tough adjustment for you for somebody who's been in the league for regularly what's going on this year? Uh, far as me not playing? Squad and not playing? Mm, no. So I've kind of always been a team guy, and for me it's whatever it takes to win. Um, no matter whether it was high school, college, no matter what kind of sport it was, I do my job, and that's all I can do. Control what I can control. Were you worried this week seeing three running backs uh, land on the COVID list? And, like, you know, you've made it through, so I mean, but – you know, were you worried uh, going through tests? Could I have been? Nah, because if I was positive, there was nothing I can do either way. So I don't really ruin myself with something I really can't control. Like, I live by that. So whether I had it or not, it there was nothing I can do at that point. But, you know, stay home and get healthy. So I know, you, I know you're, you're not living in a, in a glass container. Yes. But are you being extra cautious this week knowing you're almost all the Dolphins have at running back if those three guys aren't active Sunday? Uh, no, I, I think I'm doing what I, what I typically do. Uh, live my day, day to day, doing as much as I can to stay clean and stay healthy. So the Jets game was up there. So this <laughs> would be your first home game. time putting on the Dolphins uniform at home at Hard Rock. Yep. Uh, what do you think it'll be like? No idea. No idea. I think I, it really won't hit me until the game. Uh, right now, I'm just taking it all in and just enjoying the moment. But I really won't know until the game. So you guys ask me after the game. Have you, uh, it's, it's cliche, but I am interested. Mm -hmm. have, have you had a lot of friends and family hitch up for tickets? Uh, no, because the last couple of weeks I wasn't active. So I really wasn't playing. As of now, no, nah, not yet. It's possible. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it's possible, but not at this moment. So how often when you were in high school or at the U did you like dream about that moment of maybe like wearing a Dolphin jersey at Howard Rock Stadium? Uh, I would say middle school. Mid middle school uh, was probably the last time I thought about that. Um, big Dolphins fans growing up, but as a kid, you always wanted to play home, stay home. I was fortunate to go to Miami and stay home for my college career. So now I'm back. I would imagine the answer is yes to this, but if you have to carry a 20 to 25 carry workload Sunday, you're healthy and able to do it, I'm sure, right? Uh, it's, for me, it's whatever the team needs, literally. Uh, running, catching, blocking, special teams. Uh, for me, the goal is always to help my team win in any capacity. You know, your, your position is one in the league where a lot of talented guys, you, Todd Gurley, Lamar Miller, it's a very, very long list of guys who are highly productive early to mid-20s, and then teams look for younger guys, mm -hmm. and it's harder to sustain being in the league. Is that difficult to deal with? Is it, is it just something about running back, which would you think that might happen more than other positions? For me, I really have no idea. For me, I don't, again, I can't control anything. I can only put my best foot forward with well, when I'm with the team and do what I can to help the team win and produce uh, and do my job. but. As far as why the drop off of a lot of dip, I can't really answer that. I can just only tell you that, you know, I'm going to do my job until I can't. A lot of wear and tear, I guess, at the position. No, that's that's wondering? football. I think it's football, period. No matter what position you play, it's wear and tear. It's part of the game. What has Tua been like uh, to work with Walton and uh, New York back? Uh, anybody on the Tommy Active roster this week? He's been the same guy since I got here. Practice squad, active. He's been the same guy treating me with the utmost respect, helping me uh, get acclimated to the playbook, uh, and just being who he is. And I think that's one of the, the best thing I can say is, like, he was him regardless of whether I was helping him or not. Going back to your uh, playing days in either high school or college, what stands out as far as if I were to ask you about it a day when you really had to carry a workload and maybe were just, you know, worn out by the end of the day. Anything like that stand out? Uh, worn out? Probably high school. How many carries are we talking? And mm, definitely can't remember the exact carries, but it was probably my last high school game, state game, was probably one of the ones that I was just worn out, exhausted. 
it's a good time to get worn out. Yeah, <laughs> great time. Uh, how is uh, Malcolm Brown look? Uh, today, I guess, how did Malcolm Brown look? How did he look? Yeah. Not sure. I, like, I wasn't here before, so it's hard for me to tell what he looked like. Yeah, right, I really can't compare because I wasn't here before. Uh, but, I mean, I came out with Malcolm, no Malcolm. Know him as a person, I really can't tell you how he looked before injury uh, compared to post injury. So. so, so when you know there's a chance, like an increased chance mm -hmm. that you could end up getting 10, 15, or more carries, I looked it up last year. There were two games in November where you had like 14 and 16 in back to back. Turn. So that is the case clearly this week. Is there anything at all that you'll do differently relative to film study, massage, acupuncture? rest any anything <laughs> anything at all you'll do different no sir uh i kind of go by my day-to-day -day like i'm playing every week so it's a routine that i have whether i'm a practice squad or not just kind of the same routine so you know when you do get called up you don't change nothing you don't try nothing different that would throw you off so do everything the same the, the practice squad list is so long it never used to be like this and there's guys on here who have like had success in the league mm -hmm. is, the practice squad has changed. Have, have you and any of these other guys on the list ever talked about, like, hey, man, this ain't like regular practice squad with this COVID era, you know what I'm saying? But what, what are your thoughts on how the practice squad is different with the COVID era and, you know, the way they changed the rules up with some veterans and things like that? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is the veterans uh, coming in, showing and giving looks uh, and kind of, you know, mentoring in a way and just talking to the guys and kind of just helping them see what we see or what we've seen throughout the years and just do whatever we can to help them get as prepared as they can be for the game.